What's up, my people, and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel. Today, we're going to get real about China heads, budget heads, um, knockoffs, whatever you want to call it. So in my other video, I got into a 300 river horsepower combo using some of the iron GT40 heads, either the GT40 or the P heads, the three bar, four bar, whatever you want to call it. And I was thinking like, Maybe somebody else watching this video was wondering, why should I go through all the trouble of getting junkyard heads, have them poured it, and I can just buy a pair of, for instance, Airflow Research Enforcer 185 heads for around $1,100. Well, let's have a conversation about it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm only going to talk about the... Um, enforcer heads. I'm not going to talk about the um, heads that those um, enforcers are cast off of, like SVE, ProComp, Skip White. They're all using that same China or low budget, whatever you want to call it, casting as the enforcers. Now, what sets these enforcers heads apart from the rest of those um, budget heads is they come with, you know, pretty much top of the line valve trading components. So all that sounds good, right? So far, it sounds good, right? Well, let's let's well, let's just talk about it. Let's let's dig a little bit deeper. So to start off, you know, if you look at the data for the um, like pro comps, SVE, Skip Whites, even the enforcers have the flow data on their um, site. You know. It's lackluster. It's it, it doesn't really flow what a good 185 head should flow. And that's not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue what you have um, with this head is the thin deck. Like it's it's only like a half inch thick. You know, this is data that they're providing. So with only a half inch um, thick deck, you're, you're begging for issues, whether it's warpage or a blown head gasket. You know, the cheap alloys in these heads are just prone to make that kind of stuff ha happen. You know, the other thing is, well, the positive thing and the thing that almost made me buy a pair of enforcers until I talked to uh, my porter and um, a machinist is um, they both kind of said, you know, these things have this um, cheap alloy that they're made out of. And especially if you're boosting that thin deck is just a recipe for, uh, you know, a blown head gasket. So the positive things about these head, these heads is these heads come with the renegade valve um, package. So the casting is like a budget casting, but the valve train components that they come with are top notch. So some of the things that these um, heads come with are like LS style eight millimeter valves. You know, that's better than some of the, um, I don't wanna say name brand, but some of the, the better casting heads. Also, they come with Beehive um, pack springs. I believe those are Beehive. Um, I don't know if they're double. I, I have to look at that again. I don't know if they're double springs or a uh, Beehive spring, but it's a pack spring. It's a, a good quality spring. It's not like with the SVE or Pro Comps. They come with cheap springs. You know, the hardware on this head is good for the price. And another thing to think about, too is they say it's assembled in America. So I'm not sure if that assembled means that they're using, you know, cheap valve guides in them or not. Like I say, I, I could be wrong on that. I'm, I'm really not sure. But here's the thing. You're going to pay almost 1200 maybe $1,000, maybe $1,100 shipped to your door like the off um, airflow research website, they're five thirty something a piece. So that sounds like a, a good deal. And for some people, I don't know. It's it's 
you know, $1,100, or you can get a set of Trick Flow 170s for 1329 This is from fourstrokers.com. So you either get a budget head for 11 you spend a little extra money for 1300 With the Trick Flow head, it might not come with the same um, valve train components. And honestly, the Enforcer has a better valve train components than the stuff that comes with the 170s, but what you're getting in a tray-off is still a decent valve train component that the 170s have, and you have a thicker deck, and you have a head that flows, rings around any of those budget heads. So, you know, that's that's my thoughts on this. I'm not telling you whether or not you should buy a budget head or not, but... It's just some of the issues that you're gonna come up against, especially if you boost it with a um, with a budget head. It doesn't matter if you put studs on there, you know. Is you're gonna have a problem with popping head gaskets just because of the thin deck. Now, like I say, don't don't take this as law. There are plenty of people out here, people out here running budget head with success. But my point is. You know, if this is strictly talking about these enforcer heads, because I know you can go on eBay and buy some um, budget heads a lot cheaper than you can buy these enforcer heads. But again, they don't have the valve train um, components like the enforcer. So if you stack the enforcer up for eleven hundred dollars or something to the trick flow 170, I think it's worth spending the extra, you know, two, three hundred dollars to get the trick flow head. So leave a comment, you know, if you agree or if you don't. Um, if you have some budget heads and they've been successful for you, leave a comment and let us know what your combination is. Also, to my, my 4.6 people, to all the 4.6 guys and girls out there, I haven't forgotten about y'all. I have something lined up in 2021 for y'all. It's a brand new build. We're going over um, basically what kind of combination we want to run with this build. So my, my, my modular people, trust me, I got something for y'all, but I'm gonna need y'all help. So I'm gonna need you to subscribe and get alerts. Um, go over to my Instagram page at SN95 Power. We're doing write-ups on some well-known cars and we're, we're doing write-ups on everybody else's car. So, you know, if you want to get your car out there, Go ahead and send me a, um, a DM. So thank you all for taking time to um, hear my little rant about this. And until next time, God bless you.